Lithium ion batteries, they're marvels of technology that make many everyday devices more useful, powering everything from mobile phones to e-bikes. They're also the source of a growing number of serious fires and present a major challenge for government agencies charged with protecting consumers from unreasonable risks of injury and death. For the next few minutes, we'll explore the potential hazards associated with lithium-ion batteries, lessons learned from our experience with this technology, and what you can do to keep yourself and your family safe while using devices we all depend on every day. From a technical standpoint, the fires that we're seeing with lithium-ion batteries often occur when a thermal runaway gets triggered. Some of the common causes of thermal runaway include internal short circuit of a cell, caused by manufacturing process issues, physical damage to a battery pack or cell, or overcharging due to a missing or ineffective battery management system. What is thermal runaway? In lithium ion cells, the movement of lithium ions and electrons produces electricity. The process of a charge and discharge is normally accompanied by a small amount of heat, which dissipates from the cell. Thermal runaway is a phenomenon in which the lithium ion cell enters an uncontrollable self-heating state. In thermal runaway, the lithium ion cell generates heat at a rate several times higher than the rate at which heat dissipates from the cell. When the temperature rises at a critical rate, the cell can enter thermal runaway and cause adjacent cells in a battery pack to also enter thermal runaway. This can result in rapid ignition and spreading of a fire. As we've seen, the same energy that can power a battery drill or a laptop for hours can create a life-threatening fire in just a few seconds. Other examples are not hard to come by. So when my sister called me to tell me the house was on fire, I rushed back. I guess I was gone for about 20 minutes or so and I could see flames leaping out of the garage windows when I got here. Nobody was hurt in this fire. No firemen were hurt, fortunately, too. But it was a massive fire. And it was all caused by lithium ion batteries being charged in their chargers. Thomas Kennedy and his sister were fortunate that nobody was injured. In the wake of a growing number of stories like the one we just heard, some much more tragic, what have battery experts learned about managing not just lithium ion technology, but also the next generation of high energy density batteries. One of the things we've learned is that it's actually easy to make batteries. And today there's thousands of companies that are making batteries, some of them good and some of them not very good. But it's the quality of manufacturing that's also important. And again, some companies uh, can make good batteries, but some companies are making batteries in facilities that are would not be acceptable in most industries. And those companies can produce batteries that can have defects in them that can later result in fires and explosions. For the next generation who is working on high energy density batteries, uh, the key thing that I think is important is how to have manufacturing processes where we, that look pretty much like the semiconductor industry in terms of cleanliness, in terms of automation, in terms of automated inspection, and the measurement of the material properties as it enter into this manufacturing and assembly process. Product safety agencies around the world, including in the United States, are taking steps to ensure that the batteries in consumer products are safer. Consumers can also practice safe handling of lithium ion battery power products by remembering the following. Use the charging equipment that is supplied with your device. If it is absolutely necessary to use a different charger, make sure the charger is certified by a recognized testing laboratory. Ensure that the charger's output voltage and current ratings and polarity are compatible with the device or battery pack being charged. Unplug the charger from the device when the charge cycle is completed. Stop using your device if the battery shows signs of damage, such as an unusual odor, excessive heat, popping sounds, swelling, or change in color. 
purchase batteries that are tested to be compatible with the product, listed by a recognized testing laboratory, and labeled accordingly. Have all repairs performed by a qualified professional. More information on battery safety is available at the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission website, cpsc.gov. Thank you.